endless trade show and so many people launching new products. And really appreciate you for following the journey of CES from the transportation perspective. This is the new unveiling of the Sony and Honda partnership where they're releasing an electric vehicle using all the uh, Sony knowledge, digital screens, and all those kind of things. That is gonna be a great experience for the user. So we're standing here with the brand new EQXX, fully electric, over 400 miles of range. And to be honest, I think it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The whole roof structure is built up of solar panels, so it charges as you drive. This is the new Dodge Electric, which I think looks freaking gorgeous. They've hit all the right notes in this. I mean, for a fully electric vehicle from Dodge, this is just absolutely gorgeous. So we had Zooks here, and autonomous vehicles that shuttle people that last mile of the journey. Get on your normal buses, your normal trains, and then that last mile, you can use one of these to take you to wherever you want to go. All right, so we had applied EV from Australia, and you can see obviously these autonomous delivery robots, but then they've also got like a chassis where you can build your own type of platform around it. IndyCar has got an autonomous Indy racing series. Universities are actually building vehicles and testing who can go the fastest around a racetrack. So this whole autonomous side of it is becoming bigger and bigger. It's even going into motor racing. This gives you an idea of the size of these wheels absolutely huge they've got all the technology on them they've got gps technology lidar they've got radar and they're driving these things autonomously it's really cool technology so lucid motors is running all of their information on the amazon cloud but they're also doing integration with alexa so alexa is your voice assistant inside of the vehicle one of the crazy things with waymo cars is that they use three different types of sensors. They're using cameras, they're using radar, and they're using LiDAR, and they're combining all three of those to get the vision on the roadway. So you can see it's all about the driver experience nowadays. This vehicle has no steering wheel, so that people can relax and do work and watch Netflix while they're driving. Okay, so this is Waymo's autonomous driving truck. I actually think this is gonna be some of the technology that we see on the roadways before we see you know, passenger driving cars and they seem to be getting some success. All right, so here is the ID7, the latest electric vehicle from Volkswagen. Dear guests, the show is about to begin. Before you leave, please take your time to have a closer look at the all-electric ID7. This is a bit lackluster, it's just a light show for a car and not telling us anything about the new technology that's in there. I'd rather know what's all the cool things about the car versus a light show. So as you can see, the most talked about topic is vehicle technology at CES, which is awesome. So it just means everybody's looking at vehicles. So as you can see, more and more people are designing cars without steering wheels now, and mainly for the passengers to have a great passenger experience. I mean, there is everything at the show, so I mean, these huge kind of like military gray trucks, it's really cool. And this is just automotive, it's absolutely huge. We're at the Qualcomm booth. We're obviously a partner with Qualcomm. We use all of their chipsets. We're showcasing some really cool technology here with pedestrian crossings and how we can make pedestrians safer crossing the road and warning cars ahead of time that a pedestrian is actually ahead of them. DeLorean with a new concept car, electric vehicle, and it just looks really freaking cool. So this is a really cool autonomous driving shuttle. The seats are super comfortable, it's Italian design. The windows are all electronic, so you can actually put different views on them. So he was playing like different screens on there and all the rest, it was like really cool. 
This is from a company called Verge that's doing electric super bikes. And obviously these bikes are super powerful, instantaneous torque. I just really like the look of it, that they haven't gone like conventional. It's got 201 horsepower and 1,200 newton meters of torque, which is insane. The bike can do 233 miles. That's a long range. It just tells you that, you know, electric vehicles, they here. They're taking over, they're gonna become faster, cheaper, better for the environment. And that's kind of what we're all trying to do here.